Welcome back to your mat. My name is Colin and thank you so much for joining me along these past 11 weeks as this is our 11th virtual session. If you've been enjoying these sessions and have been getting some value, please share it with others, like the video so that we can have others join us and reap the amazing benefits of this practice, especially during these times when we need to keep healthy and keep our immune systems nice and strong. I'd highly appreciate if you could leave me a review so that I can know how I'm doing as your yoga instructor and you'll find the link in the description below. If you're brand new to these live sessions, I'd highly encourage you to check out our previous 10 sessions and you can find the videos in the playlists up top here in the corner, as well as uh, a video on four pillars of yoga asana. So if there's four things that you need to know during your practice, uh, that's it. Go ahead and check those out. Each one builds upon the next. And so go ahead and get yourselves caught up and uh, maybe I'll be seeing you in our live virtual sessions soon. So get ready to move and breathe. You'll need a, a block with you for this week's session. And as always, remember, if you have a yoga block or like a book, you know, or something that you can use to help support, we'll really try to utilize the block here Today, and that'll just allow us to kind of really get into our full expression in each posture comfortably so we don't let like our flexibility limit our practice in any way. So let's come into our child's pose to start class. So we'll bring our knees wide to the mat, big toes to touch at the tailbone down towards your heels and just begin to lower down into the mat spread your fingers wide as you reach forward and you can relax the forehead down start to be in tune with the breath create our ujjayi in through the nose and out through the nose as we constrict the throat and we make that ocean sound with our breath Let's maintain that throughout our practice so we can really build heat and stabilize ourselves in our asana. Now let's stack the right hand over the left wrist and pull back your right hip as you sit down a little lower and open up that right side of the body here. Just lengthen out. Right, this practice is all about creating that space in every ligament and tendon and muscle. And we use our breath as a tool to allow us to do that. Let's switch sides, ground down the right hand, place the left hand on top, press down, press the left hip back to open the right or the left side body. the ujjayi breath you want to be able to hear your breath let's come back to center now and we'll move into a puppy dog so we're just going to shift forward raise our hips above the knees and reach your hands forward. And as you work to press the chest down, chin down, feel that opening in the shoulders, the upper mid back. And again, stick with the breath. Take five breaths here. Continue to melt the heart down, maybe even a little lower. On your next inhale, make your way back up to hands and knees. And gently shift forward, maybe bring your hands a little forward. We'll move into our scorpion. So bring the big toes to touch and point them upwards. 
right, to the sky. As you press your heart, magnetize it up. Maybe hold and squeeze the shoulders back and down. As you open up here, hang that torso forward. Five breaths. And as you exhale, let's come back to center. Into our hands and knees. Let's find some uh, wrist stretches. So let's point the fingers backwards, ground down the palms, and gently sit back as you open up their forearms here. Then you can find some movements here. Maybe go to the left side. Feel the wrist warming up, getting nice and loose here. Maybe to the right. Maybe find some circles or some half circles. Still feels good. Most of us probably been on the computer all week, so really important to stretch out those fingers and hands and wrists. Okay, let's bring the fingers back facing forwards and then we'll ground down the top of the hands and point the fingers backwards and let's do some cat and cow movements here so let's round the spine up press down to the tops of the hands find a nice arch in the spine tuck the chin three breaths And your next inhale, so round the spine down, point your tailbone up to the sky, maybe even look up here, three breaths. On the exhale, last set, round the spine up, four, three, two, one on the inhale round the spine down four three two and one let's flip the hands back over let's do some finger push-ups now so just raise the bottom of the palms up as you ground down the knuckles and the fingers into your mat really feel that those fingers, phalanges stretching out as you ground down to the knuckles, right? And this is a feeling that you want to get in a lot of our postures that were on our hands, right? Especially in our downward facing dog. It's all about grounding the fingers and the knuckles. Let's go five more here. And let's relax. Maybe move the hips from side to side. And let's move into our downward facing dog. So index face 12 o'clock, hand shoulder width or a little wider. Let's tuck the toes down and pike the hips up as we press the chest backwards. Again, ground down right through the knuckles and the fingers, more so on the index and thumbs. Try to press your, your forearms together and broaden the shoulders. And send your shoulder blades up the spine here. Allow more stability in the body. Continue to lengthen out the spine, press the hip up and back. You can always modify here by bending the knees too, if that feels a little better in order for you to lengthen out. And then gently work, right, to bring the heels down to the floor. Stick with the breath. Let's bring the feet to touch, three-legged dog, so lift the right leg straight up. 
maybe even lift your left heel up, get high as possible here. Lengthen out, three breaths. And release, let's switch legs, left leg, three limb dog. Extend that knee back, three breaths. Your exhales take a big step forward. Let's move into our ragdoll posture. Hang loose, grab the elbows, opposite elbows. Bend the knees if you need to. Let's just release into it, shake it out. Let's just let everything go right here. It's only you and your mat, your practice. Giving yourself some time. Some valuable self-care time. Nice and loose with the upper body. Release that lower back, maybe a half an inch more. Nice work. Let's walk the feet to touch. Very gently, maybe bend the knees a bit. Curl the body up. One vertebrae at a time to keep your chin tucked. Show that nice articulation through your vertebrae here. We start to make your way up to our mountain posture. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. For today's class, let's paint a canvas. So with every asana, every movement that we do today, let's imagine it being a color, maybe a shade of a color. And just imagine maybe the, the most amazing painting you've seen, or you can create, let's create something that's never before seen uh, with your practice. So on your inhale, let's reach out for the sky, lengthen out, yeah. On the exhale, let's fold down, bow forward, release out the air. On your inhale, take your halfway lift, pull the crown of the head forward, make a flat back. And this time, st step your right leg back into a low lunge. So lower the knee, right knee down gently. Maybe bring the hands on the top of the legs here on your thigh. Just press into it, lift the chest up, squeeze both legs together, lift the navel up and in, and take some breaths here. Just gently place the hands down in line with the feet, and we'll step back into our downward facing dog. Lift up those hips, draw the heels down. We're gonna move into our high plank, an option if you want. Try to see if you can curl your spine. So hug the belly in, suck it in, curl the spine. And gently make your way to your high plank. Just a fun little transition to work on. And from our high plank, you can lower down onto your knees or just gently come down onto the chest, low cobra. So ground the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift the chest up, maybe look up. Point the elbow straight back and breathe. We got five, four, three, two, one, exhale it out, let's tuck the toes, press back up, high plank, downward facing dog. Hey, hey dad, clean yourself. All right, let's step the right foot forward, low lunge. Again, you can come up, press the top of the leg. Down, lengthen out the spine, squeeze the legs. Feel 
that hip flexor. All right, try to lunge a little lower. Now let's clap the hands in line with the feet and let's step the left to the right. Let's take a halfway lift. Inhale, maybe come to the balls of the feet, lengthen out the spine, flat back. Maintain your breath, we'll hold here for three, two, and one. Exhale, let's fold down, lower the heart towards the legs here. And maybe bend the knees, let's step the left leg back this time. Low lunge, press down through the leg. Lunge deep. Okay, plant the hands. Step back into our down dog. Lengthen up. And again, maybe round the spine into our high plank. Low cobra. Ground down the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Continue the breath. We got five. Four. Three. Two. And one. High plank. Down dog. Side up. Release it out, maybe walk it out. On your inhale, step your left foot forward, low lunge. Maybe press the hands, lunge a little lower, last one. And let's step our right to meet the left. Halfway lift, one breath in. Exhale, tuck the chin, fold down, lead with the heart. Okay, let's root to rise up. Inhale, reach up and go back. Let's take a back bend here. Reach up to the sky. Keep the ears and biceps aligned as you go back. Press the hips forward. Release into it. Maybe go back far as you can but where you can continue to breathe we'll hold for seven six five four three two and one nice job let's come back to center bring the hands towards your heart and press the palms together Take a few breaths here. Let's tune back in to that painting, right? What are we painting today? How are we gracefully going to move our paintbrush to create a, our own masterpiece? On the inhale, let's lengthen up. Exhale, fold down. Let's get moving a little bit more now. Inhale, halfway. Let's step it back, high plank. Strong core, strong legs. Okay, we can shift forward, move into our low cobra, or you can come into low plank, right? Chaturanga, hug the elbows in, maybe bend them 90 degrees. Flip the tops of the feet. Inhale up. Lift the chest up. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Let's hold this. Feels good for three, two, one. Let's press back up, downward facing dog. Nice inverted V shape with the body. All right, maintain that looseness in the neck. Steady gaze between the feet. Let's step our right foot forward. Warrior one here. So ground down the back heel, lunge down. Check your right knee, point it towards your right pinky toe. As you reach your hands up. Okay, draw the navel, hug the belly in. Okay, options with the hands, right? You can just keep them up, spark the fingers, maybe even bring the palms to touch, maybe cross the thumbs, and you can even look up. 
Hold here for three, two, and one. Open up to warrior two. So reach your right hand forward, left hand back. You really squeeze the mat in with both feet. So we got equal weight in both of our feet. Steady gaze over your middle finger here. Maintain that breath. Inhale, let's reach up, reverse. So keep that right leg bent now and lift up, reach up, maybe look up or down, but just pick one spot and focus on the breath and on your painting, right? Okay, from here, let's move into side angle. So option to just rest the forearm on the thigh and reach your left hand up. Okay, if you want more, and you've got that block or a book, you can use that, right? Any height that you want, maybe bring it on the inside of your right foot and just place it right down in line, right, with that foot. That just allows you to press into the floor because this posture is all about reaching up and opening up that left shoulder and the heart. Okay, a few more breaths. Good, on your inhale, let's reverse again. Reach up and back. Let's move right back in, warrior two. So feel the body, feel that leg strength, engage, right? Engage the core, engage the feet, squeeze the mat. And now let's gently bump the hip backwards. Okay, and straighten out that front knee and reach forward and move into our trikonasana. So you can find your shin, ankle, or maybe that handy dandy block or book. And if you've got that block, maybe take it behind, so the right side of your leg. And it's gonna be slightly behind the heel. So hopefully you can see that. And you can press into the floor to reach up and get full nice expression. Lengthen out, maybe gaze up at the thumb. You also have an option to extend your triangle, right? Reach forward to make that nice line between your back foot and your left arm. If you need to ground down, right? Maybe lift the toes up, press that right heel in. A few more breaths. Enjoy it, breathe into it, and release into it. last breath in and your exhale move forward plant your hands forward step your back foot in maybe about a foot so you're about one of your legs length apart with both feet and just lower the chest forward right maybe fold down bring the forehead towards the knee and work pressing your right hip back to squeeze both legs together you feel a nice stretch in that right hamstring here. Now we're gonna revolve. So again, if you've got that block, you can place it maybe right on the inside of your foot or maybe even the outside. Press down with your left hand to reach that right hand up. So now we're twisting our triangle here. Again, same action, press the hip, right hip back, squeeze the legs, draw the belly up and in, continue to breath in through the nose and out through the nose, lengthen out, try to stack both arms, one nice line, here you go, three more. On your exhale, release into it, nice job. Okay, from here, we're going to bring our weight into our front foot. And you're going to maybe use that block again. I told you we're going to make this thing handy today. And pick up your left foot just as high as you can. Okay, plant your left hand onto your support. Okay, and maybe you need to bend this right knee as much as you need to here to find stability. Okay, hug that core in. And again, we're twisting. Reach that right hand up. This is a revolve half moon here. 
Okay, so steady gaze, maybe down is fine. Or if you want more of a challenge, right? Maybe take your gaze to the right side or maybe even up towards that right thumb. We'll hold here for three, two, and one. Nice job, let's step the left foot to meet the right. And let's fold down. Okay, let's grab the backs of our heels with our palms. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, fold down. Gaze between the legs here. Continue to work to raise up the hips. Try to glue the ribs towards your thighs. Steady breath. Let's practice, as we all know, right? It's all about the breath here. How we cleanse our body. It's how we bring life, right? Breath is life, it's prana. The more we breathe, the more we become alive. All right, let's gently release. And again, let's bend the knees, curl the body up one vertebrae at a time. Just to check in here. All right, how's that painting going? We're about halfway there, right? Let's keep going. Feel each brush stroke, each movement. Let's move gracefully. Let's keep it up. Let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold down. Exhale it out. Inhale, halfway. Let's step the left foot back. Low lunge. And again, really squeeze the legs. Let's come into our downward facing dog. Let's step back. Just moved into it a little differently this time. Added a lunge in here. Okay, let's come back to our high plank. Okay, shift forward. And again, let's go low cobra or low plank. Let's rinse it out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the chest. And on the exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Breathe it out. So I'll take a deep breath in. Open the mouth. <sighs> exhale it out. Let it go. It's all relieving. Here we go, warrior one, left foot forward, ground the heel down. Inhale, reach up, any variation with the hand. Maybe gaze up, challenge yourself here. Lunge a little lower, get that thigh, curl out to the floor. Breathe here, we got three, two, and one. Open up, warrior two. Squeeze the legs, engage, right? Lift the front of the pelvis up, descend your tailbone down to the floor. Steady gaze over the middle finger. Inhale, let's reverse, reach up and back. Lengthen. Here we go, side angle, maybe forearm to thigh, or use your prop accordingly, whatever works for you here. Okay, reach that right hand up, hug the shoulder blades together, keep those legs nice and strong, right? Engaged, gripping the mat, squeezing that back leg, right? Extending the knee, maybe extended side angle, reach forward. On your inhale, let's reverse, reach back. Couple breaths. On your next exhale, warrior two, reach forward and back. Okay, let's gently bump the hip back. Extend your front knee this time, trikonasana. Again, with your support, maybe take it to the left side of your leg here. And lengthen out. Breathe into it. 
gracefully find your full expression feel your power as well all right work that left hip backwards rotate your right thigh inwards all right internal rotation with that back leg it's all about grounding as well in this posture maybe extend your option breathe into it Final breath in, exhale, let's come forward, step the foot in, maybe a foot or so, okay, back leg is at about 45 degrees, and again, just fold forward, melt the heart down, working to press that left hip back this time, hug the legs, squeeze them together, maybe pick the front toes up. And if you're hyper mobile and flexible in your knee joint, right, you can also keep a slight micro bend in that front knee. That'll help. Continue to press that left hip back. Ground down equally to both feet. Let's move into our revolve triangle. So again, block maybe on the inside, or it can even go on the outside. Ground your palm down, twist open. Send that left hip back. Continue to work. Use that breath here. Maybe gaze up at your thumb. Five breaths. And let's release out of it. Okay, bring that block forward. Okay, we're gonna plant our right hand down this time, pick up the back foot. We're gonna revolve our half moon. So maybe we need to bend that left knee for stability as much as possible. And just work that left hand up, bring it up. Maybe keep the gaze down. Or maybe slowly work to straighten out that left knee Squeeze that right glute back, maybe point that toe back and bring your gaze steady, holding the core in. Three breaths here. Let's go for three, two, one. Exhale it out, bring your right to meet the left. Great job. All right, let's grab the big toes with our peace fingers. And inhale, let's find length. Exhale, fold down. Bring the ribs to thighs, release into it. Deep forward fold here, nice back opener. Gently release, let's come all the way back up to our mountain posture. Let's inhale, let's reach up. Let's do that whole thing again and let's move a little bit faster this time. On the exhale, let's fold down. Inhale halfway. Okay, let's take the right leg back. Let's even it out, right? Let's get our low lunge back in here. Squeeze the legs. Let's plant the hands, downward facing dog. You guys got the movements now. You know what we're painting. You know what we're creating here. So now let's just move without thinking. Okay, warrior one. Step the right foot forward. Inhale. Find length. Exhale, warrior two. Expand out. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. On your next inhale, let's reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Okay, let's bump the hip back, straighten out the knee. Trikonasana, lengthen out. 
On your exhale, let's come forward, maybe step that back foot in, 45 degrees, fold down, forward. Maybe tuck the chin, lead with the heart though. Okay, let's plant the left hand in or outside of the foot. Let's revolve to the right side. Exhale it out. Here we go. Shift forward. Plant the left hand down. Revolved half moon. Full expression. Squeeze the legs together, right? Internal rotation with the legs. Maybe gaze up. Exhale it out. Step the left to meet the right. Great job. Almost there. Halfway lift. Inhale. Let's step it back. High plank. Let's do our vinyasa. So chaturanga. Low plank or low cobra. Your option. Inhale up. Let's take a exhale up with our downward facing dog here. And take a few more breaths. Lengthen up. Got our last side. Yeah, let's step the left foot forward, warrior one. Lunge down deep, reach up. On your exhale, open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Bump the hip back, straighten out the knee. Triangle pose, full expression. Press that left hip back. Lift the front of the pelvis up. Exhale it out, pyramid. Step the back foot in, fold over the front leg. Let's plant the right hand down. Let's twist. Left side. Good. Let's bring our weight in that front foot. Plant the right hand down. Revolve half moon. Let's get right into it. Maybe stand nice and tall with that left knee. Extend it out. And let's release, bring the feet back to touch. Nice job. Inhale, let's rise up, lengthen up here. And let's slowly bend the knees. Bend the knees, maybe come into our chair. So right from our chair, we're gonna come all the way down on to a seat as graceful as possible. Right into our high boat. So let's get that core going. Squeeze the legs together. Lift the chest up, hug the shoulder blades back. Maybe lift up a little higher. Okay, knees can always be bent, all right? Let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. All right, enough of that core stuff. Let's bring your right foot forward. So, the, so your shin is parallel to the front of your mat. And you got a 90 degree with your right foot and find a 90 degree with your left foot here. So we call this the 90-90 position. Okay, and then we're gonna square off the hips, square the shoulders forward. Maybe you need to press both hands on the sides of your front leg here. Just lengthen up and work external rotation with the front leg. So ground that front knee into the floor as you try to lift your right, right uh, ankle off the mat here. If you want more of a challenge, you can maybe cross the hands over the chest and try to lengthen even more. Square off the hips. You might feel it right in the side here. 
Just breathe through it. Opening up different muscles. Okay, let's plant the hands down. Maybe we need to shift a little forward or maybe even to the right a bit so that we can work to get that right foot off the mat. So really ground down, externally rotate that front leg. Really ground that right knee in as you lift the foot up. Let's go, we're gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's gently twist the body towards the left side here. Feel that stretch in that outer left thigh. So we're grounding down our left knee into the mat this time, trying to work to pick up that left heel. I don't know, for me, it kind of feels impossible. But energetically, just try to work that. Yeah, let's release, come forward. Maybe if you want, you can just switch, right? So just switch, face the other side if you want to. Find your 90-90 with the front and back knee. You lift the chest up, square off the hips. Again, ground down that left front knee this time, right, to pick up that right heel. Externally rotate that front leg here. More of a challenge, maybe lift the hands up. Get nice and long with the spine. Continue the breath. Just doing up those finishing touches with our masterpiece, right? Stick with the breath. And release. Now maybe shift forward or maybe towards the left side. Ground into that left knee and work to pick up that left foot. Very active here. Holding for five, four, three, two, one. Let's twist towards your right side. And ground down your right knee now into the mat. And let's release. Nice job, guys. Let's come into an easy seat here. Let's finish off with some gentle twists in the body. So you bring your left hand towards your right knee and just twist open towards your right side. Lengthen out the spine. So lift that chest up, chin up, and take your gaze backwards. Exhale, come back to center. Let's switch sides. Other way. And the exhale, let's come back to center. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Reach all the way as possible, far as possible. And work to ground down your forehead very slowly as you release into it. I'm gonna end our practice right here, just as we started with our head down, bowing forward really honoring ourselves and our practice and our self-care routines especially during these times it's important to keep up our health keep up our immune system have it be nice and strong so that we can live right the more we breathe again the more we become alive Inhale, 
and slowly make our way back to an easy seat. We just sit here for the last minute of our practice. Just feel and notice any sensations in the body. Your hands can just relax down on towards your knees, shoulders slightly back, chin lifted up, chest up, spine nice and upright. We just notice the feelings underneath us and around us. Take a deep breath in as we bring our hands towards our heart. Take a deep breath out, let it go. Just as we created our masterpiece, our beautiful piece of art with our asana practice, we can create our reality and our life the same way, right? With every emotion that we feel, with every thought, every action, just everything that we do, that we put out in this world can be just like a paint, a, a color, right? Or a shade of color. And we have the choice to, to just create our own canvas and paint what we want. And yeah, of course, there's external things that we can't control, but we can always control how we respond. And that's really all that matters in our own reality. Namaste. Oh,